and hallelujah. Amen. Amen. The book of Proverbs chapter number 7 says unto us, Amen, uh, that Solomon cried and said, For at the window of my house I looked through my casement, and beheld among the simple ones a discreet discerned among the youths a young man void of understanding. Amen. Passing through the streets near her corner. Amen. Near her corner. And he went away to her house. And in the twilight and in the evening and in the black and the dark of the night. Solomon is watching out his window, amen, and he watches as a young boy, a young man, begins to walk down the street, amen, or the road. And Solomon said it's evening and it's dark, amen, and he is, does know he is near her corner. He is going the way to her house, amen. I thought as the book of Luke tonight, chapter number 15, amen, the young boy that had it all, the young boy that had his father's home and the father's house, had all the amen food that he needed provided for him, amen. They must have pretty good money, hired servants and Everything that he would desire, he could have. But the Bible said he began to look and begin to think, in my own words, and dream about the far country. Amen. Well, I, I know you'd rather hear the Holy Ghost preaching tonight. Amen. Preaching on the baptism, but I feel the Holy Ghost. Amen. To reach for somebody's soul right now. Amen. There's a story that's told, amen, of a little boy. Amen. They would look down the hillside at the house with the the golden windows, amen, the house with the golden windows, and every day it fascinated him, amen, and he wanted to see it, so one day he packed his lunch and headed down the hillside in the land in search of the house with the golden windows, amen, and the story says when he finally got there, standing in the yard, he realized, amen, that the house didn't have golden windows after all, Amen. One of the young kids were playing outside. He said, where's the house with the golden windows at? It was a rundown place. Amen. That little kid said, sir, young. Amen. Said back to them in my own words. Amen. You're the house with the golden windows. Amen. For he saw the sunlight reflecting. Come on now. Amen. And just like that young boy saw all in the distance in the far country. Amen. Amen. The glory and the glamour and the pleasure of being your own man. Amen. Doing what you want to do. Living like you want to live. Oh, I'm going to feel like preaching tonight. Hallelujah. Amen. There I can dress the way I want to dress. Come on. I can wear what I want to wear. I can do like I want to do. But Mr. Prodigal, it's going to cost you far more. Amen. Getting that than what you want to pay. Hear me tonight, there's a statement, the glass is greener on the other side. But hear me tonight, you can always count on it, the water bill will be higher on the other side. It will cost you something to go to the far country. It will cost you something to leave the Father's house. Oh, I feel the Holy Ghost. Yes, it's possible, amen, to be here, but yet your heart be far from the Father's house. Hey, to look good, to act good, to talk good, but your heart be far, far, far from the Father's house. The prodigal decides, I don't have it here good. It ain't good here. If I go down yonder, I can stay up as late as I want to. I have nobody over me. I can live like I want to live. Oh, Mr. Prodigal, how long was it that he laid in his bed at night and pondered it in his mind. He dreamed about the far country. Amen. I could see him both standing, maybe if it was a hillside. Amen. Where they lived as he would walk out to the barnyard. Amen. To the corner of the field. And he would look out across the plains. And he would see the far country way out there. And he would dream about it. And he'd talk about it. Oh, I feel the Holy Ghost tonight. Amen. It didn't happen overnight. Amen. But it was a small part. 
process, a slow process that drawed him to the far country. Amen. He didn't go in one day. It had been in his mind. He had been dreaming about it. He had been thinking about it. Come on now. Amen. Voices have been talking to in his ear. You need to go. You need to get away. Come on now. Amen. Can't you see him today? Amen. That he gets up and he goes to his father and he says, Father. Amen. Father. Amen. Give me the portion of good that belongeth unto me. Where are you going, son? I'm going to the far country. Amen. And he handed him the portion of good that belongeth unto him. Hallelujah. And there he goes. Let me have that again. Amen. There he goes. Amen. His mommy kisses him on the cheek and hugs him and kisses him goodbye as he loves everything he's got. Amen. On his back. And he heads for the far country. Oh, I feel the Holy Ghost. Amen. I was preaching to PMA Youth Rally last Friday night. And they asked Brother L.L. L. Collins, amen, to come and introduce me to the pulpit. And Brother Collins got up and said, we're glad to have Brother Atkins. And Brother Collins began to talk in his own way, the only way that he can. Nobody can do it like he can. Amen. As he pounded that pulpit, and he said the other day, he said, I was riding to Arkansas. Hallelujah. He said, I passed a hitchhiker on the side of the road. I passed a boy with a backpack on his back. And he was headed somewhere. And he said, I thought to myself, I'd like to stop this van and roll down the window and say, where are you going, boy? Hallelujah. Where are you going, boy? And I'm telling you, I have not been able to get that off of my mind and off of my heart and off of my soul all night long last night. Where are you going, boy? Amen. Where are you headed to? I'm headed to the far country. No, you're not. Amen. You're headed down yonder where you're going to lose everything you got. Oh, I feel the Holy Ghost. Where are you going tonight, young boy? Where are you going tonight, young lady? Where are you headed to? Amen. I'm having a good time. No, you're not. No, you're not. You're going to lose everything you got. You're going to lose your purity. You're going to lose. Come on here. And then you're, oh, I feel the Holy Ghost. Where are you going? Well, Greg, I'm fine. There's nothing wrong. Where are you going? Your eyes are set on that far country. But before your eyes ever got set, your heart began to look that way. I want to ask you tonight where are you going? Where are you headed tonight? You're headed to heaven or you're headed to hell? Where are you going? I'm having a good... No, you're not! You're headed downward. You're headed down a road that you'll never be able to get over. The scars will be for years and years and years. Where are you going? Where are you headed? Raise your hands and ask God to help me tonight. <laughs> Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Where are you going? Where are you headed to? Amen. I'm headed to the far country. That's what the enemy's got you thinking. You're headed to the far country. But the devil's never took anybody anywhere that it didn't cost him everything that they had. Oh, yes. But he came home, Brother Greg. Yes, he did. But he lost it all. And he had the scars to remind him of the far country. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Well, I preached about him the other night. I better get in trouble again tonight about him. Amen. Mr. Elvis Presley, a young boy, son under the anointing. Amen. On the stage, the platforms, the gospel music. But he began to play the wrong kind. And he began to sing the wrong kind. Hallelujah. Where are you going, Elvis? Where are you going? Amen. I'm just going to play a little bit. No, you're not. It's going to take you further than you want to go. It's going to leave you lower than you want to stay. Where you headed? And then you got your backpack. Do you know where you're going? Yes, I know where I'm going. I'm in search for something that's not there. Amen. When I get there, I'll find out it's a pig pen. Yes, sir, you're right. It ain't what you think it is. Where are you going? Hallelujah. 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 
Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Woo! Monday night was my 10th birthday in the Lord. Saved 10 years. Hallelujah. I got saved on August the 30th, 1989 with my best friend beside me. He's the one that brought me to the Lord. He's the one that carried me. He's the one that came by and invited me, Brother Stan. He said, I want you to go to church. He wouldn't even save himself. Hallelujah. That night we got saved together. Amen. We weren't best friends at the time. We were out of the hymn. We went to church every night. Got sanctified. Got baptized just with the sweet Holy Ghost. I got it one night. He got it a few nights later. Amen. Received the call to preach. Amen. Just a few months before he did. And we were best friends and preached together side by side. Drove miles and hours and hours and preached on Friday night. Got more memories. Come on now. Amen. Of them long trips. Oh, I love them. Hallelujah. I was telling Brother Daryl today how you remember going to them churches. Amen. We wouldn't schedule you to preach. Amen. We just went. And they would ask us to testify and we didn't have a note one didn't have a text one but the Holy Ghost would fall and anoint us and I said I miss those times how they were some of the best times of my life when I was just a boy getting in this thing come on now even for eight years even we were side by side even all of a sudden amen the world got to looking too good to him the world got to looking too pleasant for him. Amen. It didn't start overnight. No, sir. I begin to see him slip little by little. When's the last time you prayed, man? I ain't prayed in a few days, Greg. I said, you need to pray. Amen. No, I'm all right. I'll get on my feet. No. Where you going, boy? Amen. He, amen. I will have respect for him because he set his own self down on the off the platform. He started doing things that I knew that nobody knew. The pastor didn't know it. And they would ask him to sing. And he'd say, no, I don't want to sing. Come on now. They'd beg him to know it. Don't want to. They didn't know it. And I have respect for that. Because there's a lot of people, come on now, that keeps right on the Senate and walk right on the platform. When you ought to have enough of fear of God to set your own self out when you ain't living right. <laughs> Hallelujah. He wouldn't say, he meant he set his own self down. Hallelujah. But I begin to watch him little by little. Where you going, boy? Hallelujah. Woo! He started waiting tables at a restaurant. He didn't get off till 10 o'clock at night, missing church. Amen. And he'd come stay at my mama's house. Amen. God help me. Woo! Hey Amen. I remember one morning a knock at my window, 4:30, 5 o'clock in the morning. Hey Amen. I opened my window up. He said, "Let me in, Greg." I said, "Okay." I opened the front door. He came in. He then made his pallet. He then was going to sleep. And I said, "Scott, where have you been?" Oh, he said, "I've been out just eating with some friends." No, you hadn't. I know where you've been. Come on, I can smell it. Oh, come on here. Amen. He had been doing more than what he wanted to tell me. But I knew it long before he ever mentioned it. Amen. It got worse than that. He wouldn't go home because his mom and daddy would have a fit. But he'd knock on my door. Where are you going, boy? I'm not going nowhere. But oh, I'll stand. It wasn't long till he quit coming on Sunday. And he quit coming during revival meetings. And he didn't want to come no more. Come on now. I feel the Holy Ghost. It wasn't long. Amen. Until he begin to just stay completely. Didn't want nothing to do with me. Didn't want nothing to do with it. Where you going, boy? Amen. I've got a future ahead of me. Amen. With a tennis racket in his hand. Amen. Coaching tennis. Playing tennis. Colleges writing him from everywhere. Play with us. Come on now. He begin to go that way. Help me while I preach. Amen. Two or three. Amen. Moved in together. Amen. Come on. I stopped by to visit. Drugs on the table. Amen. Hallelujah. Pick up a vase, marijuana wrappers in the vase. Come on, I'm telling you some things tonight. I feel the Holy Ghost too. Beer in the refrigerator. Why are you gone, boy? He wasn't going to be gone long, but he stayed long. Then he wanted to stay. Oh, I feel the Holy Ghost. Why are you gone? 
I'm just going for a little while. No, you're not. You won't come back. You won't come back. You won't be back. <laughs> well, um, y'all going to fall out with me now. <laughs> Hallelujah. We was the only one saved our age. And they didn't have nobody else. He memorized home. Hallelujah. And so, he meant I'd call them on the phone. Say, what are y'all doing tonight? Oh. Amen. Well, nothing. I said, yeah, okay. I said, oh, will, will y'all go out to eat with me? Hallelujah. Well, Greg, you're crazy. You shouldn't have nothing to do with them. Come on here. Amen. I'd go to eat with them. Amen. Come on now, around 637. Amen. And then we get to eat. I'd go home, lay in my bed and cry at the 2 or 3 o'clock in the morning, praying for their souls, knowing him and my brothers and their mothers was out on the world. Come on now. They'd come, come on the home that I live in now. Amen. They'd knock on the door. Amen. 3.30, 4 o'clock in the morning. Come on now. Liquor on their breast. Where you been? Come on now. Amen. A many a night I laid and prayed all night long. Come on here. Woo! And the devil said, look, he's having fun. Watch him. He's having a good time. Here you are. Come on now. Help me while I preach. Amen. At the house by yourself. Hey, 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 hey. And the devil said, look, but I said, Mr. Devil, one day I was praying. I said, Mr. Devil, I want to tell you something. I said, let's wait a while. I said, let's wait a while. I want to see him in about five months when his world's are coming in. Then you come tell me he's having fun. Then you come tell me he's having a good time. Oh, hallelujah. Well, it wasn't long. I was praying, tear his world down. Rip his world apart. He started a business. But guess what? Everything he touched turned in the sand. It began to fall. It began to crumble. Five months later, the partying's over. The good time's over. Where you going, boy? Where you going? Amen. Where you going to go? How long you going to stay? I don't know. I want to tell you, amen, the wrong way. You're going the wrong way, girl. You're going the wrong way, boy. You better turn yourself around and run back to the loving arms of the loving God. That's the call on you tonight. You're going to raise your hands and that's not to annoy me tonight. Set one down, down one day on the piano. And that's how I do. I'm at the church all day by myself, so I sit down and start playing, singing. I started playing and singing. Hallelujah. All of a sudden, the words begin to come to me from the prodigal. Father, the far country's calling me. They tell me that there I can go free. Everybody's there having a good time. Amen. Hallelujah. Give me my goods and I'll leave. So he left it all for the pleasures of this world. But it wasn't very long till they found out they were only for a season. So down in the hog pen with mud on his face. Amen. Hallelujah. He began to say, Father, it's not what I thought it would be. <laughs> I want somebody help me a while tonight. Father, it's not what I thought it would be. The road is too long and it's filled with pain and misery. Every night I lay down, all I can think about is how it used to be. Hallelujah. I miss you, Father. Would you ever let me come home? Come on here. Help me while I preach. Hey, man, where you going, boy? To the far country. I'm going to have a good time. Hey, man, I rode down the streets of this place. Hey, man, last night coming from me in Connersville. Amen from eating. Amen. A little snack last night. A little dinner late last night. we Brother Darrell. Coming home. Amen. Hallelujah. That little street corner out there. Amen. About two or three young girls. About two or three young boys. Walking, walking, walking. And I said to myself, where are you going, boys? Where are you going, girls? You got nowhere. Amen. Just wandering in the darkness. Just wandering in the midnight. Oh, hallelujah. Hallelujah. Oh, glory. 
I used to watch my brother walk out of my mama's house. How's a cop? Where you going, Brad? Hallelujah, I'm not going nowhere. Where you going? Amen. That devil was taking him down a long road, and he's still there tonight. After five years, since he backslid, he's still there tonight. Come on here. Help me while I preach. My uncle's 42 years old, or excuse me, 39 years old, this 40 years old. My mom's 42. Hey, man, I've preached to him. I've witnessed to him. He's a drunk. He's a drug addict. I've done my best to reach him. Brother John knows him. He's met him. Hallelujah. Hey, man, I've preached to him, talked to him, cried with him, and nothing. 39 years old, ain't got a thing to his name. Spent everything he's got to drink and alcohol. He gets drunk every weekend. He works just to get drunk on the weekend. The other Saturday night, I sat on the couch at my mama's house. He walked in laughing, cutting up, making fun. Tell him, come on with my stepdaddy. Oh, glory. Amen. No respect. About time he walked by me. And when he did, I grabbed him by the heart. He was laughing. I grabbed him. I looked him in the eyes. I said, Uncle Tommy, one of these days. God's going to quit waking me up at 2 o'clock in the morning to pray for you. God's going to quit waking me up at 4 o'clock in the morning in Indiana, Ohio, Georgia, with your name and your face. He said, Greg, don't say that. Don't say that. Well, amen, just a few days later, he's always got by, never got it. Grandpa always got him out of trouble. But not this time. The Holy Ghost was trying to get a hold of him the other Saturday night. Now he's facing years. Even for the possession. Come on now, drugs. Come on here. Of weapons. Help me while I where you going, Uncle Tommy. Where you going? Hallelujah. Ain't something got a hold of you that you can't tell. Come on now. There's something dragging you that you don't know it's got a hold of you. I feel the Holy Ghost. Hey. Amen. I looked around and I looked like everybody saved. But I felt the Chicago Lord and the Spirit of God say to me, where you going? Boy, where you headed? Where you headed, girl? Where you headed, boy? It's a long road. It's a long road. <laughs> How many members last year when I was here? See, young boy with me. Played drums. Where you going, boy? Where you going, boy? Where you going, Gary? Where you going? Where you going, Gary? I'm fine, brother Gary. No, you ain't. Where you going? <laughs> Woo! In a Holy Ghost meeting. Come on here. Went from the drums one night to the back row the next night. Where you going, Gary? Where you going? Hallelujah. <laughs> I dropped him off at his dad's. Amen. His dad prayed, begged me to take him with me. And I said, okay. I took him the last year. I said, I believe for last. I said, all right, I'll take him this year. And I've done my best to help that boy. Oh, where you going, Gary? Where you going? I don't tell you. Amen. I no more than dropped him off in his daddy's at a motel. Come on now. The next day, he was drugging and drinking. Come on now. Help me while I preach. Where you going, Gary? Amen. I'll tell you where he's going. Amen. He's so messed up tonight more than he He's ever been. He walked into a youth camp this summer where I was at. His eyes were raw. He been bloodshot. He been just amazed. A glaze over his eyes. He sat in the congregation, but he didn't feel a thing. Where are you going, Gary? Where are you going? Hey, Amen. I'm having a good time in the far country. No, you're not. Hallelujah. That devil's got you blinded. He's got you deceived. You're spinning everything you got. I watch him walk out of there. Out of that you can't untouch, unmoved on my, because the Holy Ghost is weary. Come on now. Oh, I feel the Holy Ghost. There's somebody in the sound of my voice. The Holy Ghost can warn you and warn you and warn you and warn you. And the night he's growing weary. Come on now. I'm dealing with you. Amen. Where are you going? 
He's trying to keep you from leaving. He's trying to keep you from walking out. Where you going? Tonight when you leave here, you're going somewhere. I said when you leave here, you're going somewhere. It's either to heaven or it's to hell. Where you going? Where you going? <laughs> It's a said, let not mine heart to climb to her ways. Go not astray in her paths, for she has cast down many wounded. Yea, many strong men have been slain by her. Her house is the way to hell, going down to the chambers of death. Hallelujah. I feel the Holy Ghost tonight. She sitteth at the door of her house on a seat in a high place to call passengers who go right on their ways. Whoso it's simple, let him turn hither. But he knoweth not that the dead are there and that her guests are in the depths of hell. Red-headed boy, send my congregation. <laughs> I was reaching with everything I had to reach, Brother Cecil. And I couldn't budge him. All of a sudden, tears streaming out his place, face. I preached on a place where God himself can't even help you. Hallelujah. There's a place you get where mama can't get you out. But there's a place you can get that God can't even get you out. But the Bible said the rich man cried and God said... There's a great gulf fix between me and you. And I can't come to where you are. There's a place God can't even help you. Where are you going? I feel the Holy Ghost. I reached for that red-headed boy in that house that night. I told him about a 12th grade friend of mine. We were both the first grandchildren. Graduating that next year into our senior year, June. Hey, going in our senior year in hey, oh, September. Amen. Mama, I'm going white water rafting with the boys. No, he didn't end up white water rafting. He went white water rafting, but he didn't end up there, brother. Brother Stanton, he ended up three days later, face first in a lake, because the suck holes in that river sucked him down. They searched for his body for three days until they found him. Jason, where are you going, man? I'm going white water rafting with my friends. No, you ain't. Amen. You're headed to hell, and you don't even know what Jason you're drinking and you're partying and you're wide water rafting where you're going Jason having the time of my life no you're not you're headed to hell you don't even know it I was telling that story and that night I reached up brother Phil amen I did my hands like that reach your hand toward me I said they told me brother Stan Jason was screaming as he was sinking as that water was sucking him under his friend said I swam to it and I reached out for it he said Jason Jason's finger touched the tip of my fingers. He said, when I reached to grab it, it sucked him down. down. I said, tonight, these people under the sound of my voice, I'm a reaching for, and your fingers are in touching the tip of my fingers. Where are you going, boy? Where are you going, girl? I'm a reaching for you tonight. And that red-headed boy was weeping like a baby. 
I reached for him and went back to him. I don't go back to nobody unless God tells me. I said, young man, God to deal with you. No, preacher. Please not tonight. God to talking to you, please, man. Please, preacher, not tonight. I'm talking to you. Amen. There's a place God can can't even help you. Brother Philip, I reached for him. Amen. He got my fingertips. He is crying. Amen. I'm going to tell you. I said, next year you may not be at this homecoming. I'm going to tell you, within a year and a half, that boy laid upside down in a ditch, in a drunken stupor. Come on now. And died and went into eternity without God. That night, if I had a could, you know what the Holy Ghost was saying? Where you going, boy? Where you headed, boy? Where you going? I'm going out. I'm going to keep partying. I'm going to keep drinking. I'm going to keep drugging. No, you're not. You're going to hell, boy. Somebody help me preach tonight. You're going to hell. Where you going? I'm having a good time. No, you're not. You're going to hell. Where you going? You start compromising where you're going, boy. Where you're going, girl. Things you used to didn't think nothing wrong with. It's all right now. Where you going? I got to hurry. Last Christmas, Sunday before Christmas, my brother's best friend, one of his jug buddies, hallelujah, where are you going, boy? Going to a party. Yeah, we're going to a party. Valor Victorian of his class, Enterprise High School. Valor Victorian of his class. I'm telling you, smartest boy out of 300 and something kids, Mr. Valor Victorian himself. Amen. Where you going? Daddy's buying you a brand new sports car. Amen. For your graduation present. Where you going, boy? Hallelujah. Nowhere. Amen. Going to a party, Daddy. No, you're not. You ain't never going to make it home, Jason. No, you ain't. Come on, Jeff. You ain't never going to make it home. My best friend was at his apartment having his own party drinking. Come on now. Amen. He told me, amen, that a boy came from the same party these boys left at 2.30 in the morning and said, man, there's a group of boys just left the party. They so messed up they couldn't even walk. Come on now. Got in their car. Amen. Jeff, Jason, and Brad. Come on now. And Aaron. Amen. Is in Jeff. Amen. Or Jason's brand new sports car. Amen racing it down Highway 84 Enterprise, Alabama. He then 90-something mile an hour. They said the last thing they saw Jason do, he was racing another buddy in a truck, racing him 90 mile an hour as he flew past them. Jason let go of the wheel and wait with their music player. And where you going, boys? We're coming from a party. We're just taking Jason's car for a new ride. No, you ain't. You're going to hell, boys. Oh, I feel like Preaching this a little while. Where are you going, boys? About that time the wheels hit the curb and just that moment hit the they hit a big electricity pole. He then cut the car in half. Jason's dead instantly. Jeff's dead instantly. Come on now. Aaron's dead the next day. And Brad walks out with nothing but a scratch. Come on, help me while I preach. Where are you going, boys? I went to their funerals. I sat and listened as they played rock and roll in their funerals. Come on now, where you going, boys? You mean we're having a good time? No, you're not. You're going to hell. You're going to hell. You're going to hell. Where you going? You're going to hell. No, we're not. We're having a good time. We're partying. No, you're going to hell. You're locking out, and you're going to hell. Hallelujah. Where you going, ma'am? Where you going? Where you going? Where you going? Where you going? I walk into a funeral home with my brother to a Catholic boy's funeral. Pictures in the funeral casket. My brother right beside him. Hey man, I said to my brother when we left, Bubba, you could have been in that car. Come on now. Where you going? A woman at home yesterday morning, 5 o'clock, 38 years 
Oh, where you going? Wakes up. Asthma attack. Put her in the car. Hold on, honey. Rushing her to the hospital. Into eternity she went. Where you going, ma'am? Oh. I gotta quit. I'm through. Somebody come get me a song. Hurry. Play real softly. Amen. Nothing but the piano. Nothing but the piano. Very softly. Amen. As I'm getting ready to close. Where you going, Becky? Hey, Becky. You shout beside us. Where you going, Becky? Got pictures with her puddle of tears on the altar. Where you going, Becky? She meets a new boy, and the boy says, I love you. She follows him. Messed up. I'll be back. No, you won't, Becky. No, you won't. Where you going? All of a sudden, shh, reverently right now, nobody talking. Where you going? Becky shook my hand and smiled. I said, don't stay too long, Becky. Tears trickled down her cheek. I won't. But Greg, I promise I won't. Shake her boyfriend's hand. They're living together in a drug home. Teenage home. Where you going? Bye. Two months later. Phone. Pastor on the other line. <laughs> What's wrong, Brother Davis? Becky's dead. Becky's dead. Where she at? What happened? She called her dad and said, Daddy. I'll be at church tomorrow night. No, you won't, Becky. 7 o'clock the next morning. Interstate 10 out of Jacksonville, Florida. Reaching down to get her cigarettes. Hit the railing through the median. Hit his 18-wheeler sideways. Where you going, Becky? Where you going? Oh, walk down a long hallway. Walk to, to a casket where a pastor and a pastor's wife stood. Young boys, her brother grabbed me when I walked in. Collapsed in my mind, just weeping. That summer at camp, the Holy Ghost. I was preaching on hell. The Holy Ghost spoke to me and said, tell them somebody won't be here next year. And I stopped and pointed and I said, you won't be here next year. Her brother grabbed me as soon as I walked in. You said, what are you talking about? You said she wouldn't be here one month from camp. Where are you going, Becky? That sorry, no good for nothing boy that drug her out of the house of God was hitting on her best friend right in the middle of the funeral. Where are you going, Becky? He rode with her best friend to the cemetery. Where you going? Took all I could do from taking my Bible and taking a few licks on his head. Come on in now. Where you going? <laughs> spin it all. Spin it all. Amen. Nobody fall out with me here. Just throw it away. Away, where you go? You're losing it all. But all of a sudden, the Bible says <laughs> he came to himself. The prodigal came to himself. 
Oh, I feel the Holy Ghost. Hallelujah. The Bible said down in the hog pen, he came to himself. Hallelujah. Mud on his face. Mud on his clothes. Come on now. Hallelujah. Stinking, filthy, and nasty. All of a sudden, he takes the bucket, slings it down. Hallelujah. Yo, where are you going, boy? I'm a going home. Where are you going, boy? I'm a going home. Where are you going? I'm a going back to the Father's house. I'm a going back. I'm a going back. Where you going? I'm going home. I know my father. Hey Amen. I know he may not want me, but I'm a going home. I'm a going home. I'm a going home. I'm through right now. Hallelujah. I want you to know tonight. Have you ever seen God in a hurry? How many's ever read where God gets in a hurry? Huh? Did he get in a hurry at Lazarus' tomb? No. Did he get in a hurry on Calvary? No. Did he get in a hurry? No. Amen. Never see God in a hurry. Hold it. You do see God in a hurry in one spot. For Jesus is telling a parable of the prodigal son. And he says, when the father <laughs> saw him, I thought off, he ran. Where you going, God? I'm a going to get my boy. Where you going, Father? I'm a going to get my prodigal. Where you going? The only time you find God in a hurry is when the sinners are coming home. When a backslider is leaving the fire country, God gets in a hurry. The Father says, Hallelujah. But Chris, I want you to slowly make your way up here with your head down. Hallelujah. Been all over, Chris. Brother Gowen, come here. Amen. The father and the mother sitting, sitting on the front porch. Amen. All of a sudden, the father says, look, honey, it looks like our boy. Amen. I recognize that. Chris. Where you at, Chris? Amen. All of a sudden, the father is Amen. The father says, honey, honey, look, that looks like our boy. No, no, there's a mini boy coming up that old dusty road. He's a mini I'm coming up that road. Uh, uh, you sure? Well, honey, it looks just like it. And the Bible said he ran to meet him. He ran to meet him. Amen. Hallelujah. Woo! The father thought. Amen. The son thought. The son thought. The son thought. The father, amen, wouldn't want him, but the father ran. Tonight you feel unworthy, amen. <laughs> you feel unworthy, they proclaim. Oh! But the father ran to meet him. I'm unworthy, I'm unworthy. Yes, sure, but give me the fatty cat. Bring the best room, place it on him. That's what God is wanting to do to you tonight. Why are you going? I'm going home. Stand all over the building, everybody, right now, young boys. Young girls, start coming right now. Come on, come on, come on. Come on, nobody waiting, no lingering. Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Come on. Come on, young boy. Where are you going? Come on, that's it. That's it. Come on, come on, come on. Come on, come on, come on. Hallelujah, come on. Come on, where are you going tonight? Come on, backslider. Come on, sinner. Come on, Christian. You've been looking at the far country. Everybody are praying. Nobody looking but me and God right now. Come on. Come on. Young boy, God's are talking to you. Come on. 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 Turn unto me and run. 
<laughs> come on. Come on. God's talking to you. 